we are going to try and maximize this. I need to figure out what value can I plug in that will make this as big as possible. Okay, and when I see value plugging in, I gotta plug in a theta. I gotta plug in an angle. Okay, understand what we're plugging in for. Cosine of theta. Go back and think about a cosine graph. Remember a cosine graph. Where do we start? How high do we start if it's just cosine? One. You would start at the top, and then we went middle, bottom. How low would we go? Negative one, but yeah. And then I'd go up. And then I'd go down, and then I'd go up, and then I'd go down, and then I'd go up, and then I'd go down. How high does it ever get? How low does it ever get? That's our only options. It goes from 1 to negative 1, no other number. So basically, for that cosine right there, I can plug in any number I want between 1 and negative 1 to try to make that number as big as possible. Okay? It's your only choices you're ever going to use is either 1 or negative 1. Technically, you could use 1's in the middle. You're not going to. It's not going to make it big. Okay? What number would you want to plug in there to make this as big as possible? 1. Okay? You're going to have a maximum value then when I plug in 1. How big is that number going to be? 5. 3 plus 2 times 1, which gets you 5. That's my max. That's as big as it gets. Then I need to figure out where, what the mess did I just make? At, there we go, get my Twitter skills up. Um, what value can I do that? Well, I need to figure out when is cosine get me one. That's what I'm looking for. I need to look at my unit circle and decide where on my unit circle is cosine one, because that's when it's going to be the biggest. So you're looking at the full ordered pair. When is x 1, or cosine 1? Not tangent. I want cosine. So what am I looking for for cosine? The x, and I want to know when the x value is 1. Where does that occur? 0. There's my x value right there. At 0 degrees, my x value is 1. So my maximum is 5 at 0 degrees. Okay, let's go to the next one. R equals 1 plus 3 sine theta. So I'm trying to figure out what can I plug in for that? What can I plug in for sine theta that makes this number the biggest? Basically, remember, it goes from 1 to negative 1. What number will make it the biggest? 1. 1 plus 3 times 1. So my maximum value here is going to be 4. That's as big as it can get. My maximum value is going to be 4. I now, now need to figure out when can that happen. Well, that happens when my sine value gets me 1. So I'm going to go to my unit circle again. Now I'm looking for when does my sine value get me 1. So what, what am I looking for again if I'm looking for sine? Y. I'm looking for my Y value up here. When is my Y value going to be 1? right there at the top. At one, when my y is 1, you're at 90 degrees. Your answers for these questions are always going to be either 0, 90, 180, or 270. Okay, those are your only options here. It's going to be one of the outside, the straight lines. Okay, let's skip down to this bottom one real quick. 4 minus 4 times something. I want to plug something in for sine theta to make this as big as possible. Okay, what do I want to plug in for sine? Do I want to make it 1 or negative 1? Negative 1. Why negative here? The minus sign. I'm going to multiply by a negative, so I want to change it to be positive, because negative 1 times negative 4 gets me positive. My max is going to be 8, and it's going to occur when sine gets me negative 1. So I need to look at my unit circle and decide when is sine, when is my y value going to get me negative 1. That's at 270 degrees.